Hello from the streets of Cairo. So I'm sure many of you have heard the traffic here is crazy. And a lot of foreigners that come visit here are very intimidated by crossing the street. So I'm just going to show you how it's done. Don't run across the street, decide to turn back, then they are not able to avoid you. Predictability is always important. What's up guys? I am back in Egypt, uh, back in Cairo. I am so happy to be back. Uh, my trip to Turkey was awesome. But I missed Egypt. <laughs> so yeah. It's uh, good to be back. And I thought, since when a lot of foreigners come here, they are concerned on how to cross the street, that I would just film a few clips about that. And <clears throat> I've filmed little things over the past 10 months that I've been living here. So I'll roll those clips as well. The traffic here is crazy and a lot of foreigners that come visit here are very intimidated by crossing the street so I'm just going to show you how it's done and uh, yeah you basically just look for an opportunity to cross make eye contact with the drivers and hope for the best so this is a very busy road here nearby but there's a lot of streets that are like this and you will see in this video That guy stopped for me and definitely did not have to. Okay. <laughs> Could be here all day. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta run, sometimes not. Unless you're in downtown and you wanna wait for the lights, um, you just kinda have to figure out how to cross the street here in Egypt because it's hectic, it's crazy, most people don't wait, and that's if you have a light. A lot of places you aren't gonna have traffic lights and walk signs and all that jazz. So you basically just have to look for a gap in traffic and walk across. You know, and just stand in between cars if you don't have enough room to make it across. But yeah, it's a uh, cross when you can, when you please, uh, whenever you find an opportunity to. Just like those ladies did. And traffic isn't too bad right now. When it gets to be really congested, it's actually easy because, uh, well, they're basically at a standstill, so you just walk through. But, uh, yeah. At other times, it's a little more intimidating. Ah. These cars are going kind of fast. Love it.
for foreigners, I know, um, especially if you're from a Western country, like maybe uh, somewhere in Europe or Australia or the US, a lot of people are intimidated by crossing the streets here. <laughs> and downtown has some traffic lights, but again, it's still not a lot. And most people don't even wait for those anyways because they can be a bit of a wait. And if you leave downtown, good luck with traffic lights there, you know. So, yeah, if you're from like maybe India or Vietnam or other countries with uh, a little more disorganized traffic, not an issue. <laughs> Won't be a, such a shock for you, but I know a lot of foreigners that have come here and are uh, very scared to cross the street. So, yeah, you just... Uh, find a spot you can stand in the middle of cars as they're passing through make eye contact if you need to you can stick your hand out um, you know just be aware and don't don't run across the street I would not recommend doing that okay I run across the street sometimes and that's fine to do what I mean here is don't make unexpected movements that drivers will not have time to react to I've seen foreigners go halfway into the street and then freeze like a scared cat before starting to run back where they came from instead of finishing crossing the street and drivers are not expecting that so it can be dangerous to do, especially if they are close and don't have time to break or avoid you. Just make sure drivers are aware of your presence, keep a steady or predictable pace, or if you are going to run, make sure you have enough time to do so. And please be aware of motorbikes. They can squeeze through very small spaces and you might not see them behind a larger vehicle. Um, because these drivers are kind of predicting where you're going at the pace that you're going in. So you can slow down, but if you suddenly make jerky movements, decide to turn back and run across the street, uh, yeah, that, then they are not able to avoid you. So predictability is always important. But it's easy, you just, pick a spot and cross and guys just one last little tip if you are too scared to cross the street uh, by yourself look for a local Egyptian crossing the street and just walk next to them well, there's always someone crossing the streets and if you're afraid to take the leap on your own get next to whoever's crossing the street and just walk next to them they will not notice you or laugh or smile and be happy to help you cross that street so all right just thought I'd mention that real quick good luck crossing the street eh? <laughs>